Good evening. Yes, I am the mother of contemporary dance, Time Magazine's dancer of the century, the first dancer ever to appear at the White House, recipient of the National Medal of Freedom, and a national treasure in Japan, Martha. I stand before you all here tonight in sweet terror, joyous despair, and divine turbulence as I welcome you all to the 2004 Nijinsky Awards. For my 138th work, I played another queen who met a violent death. Mary Stuart, Queen of Scots. Episodes premiered May 14, 1959, the result of George Balanchine asking me to create a work for his New York City ballet. An unexpected request, considering Balanchine's well-known scorn of contemporary dance. Balanchine chose the music and insisted that we each choreograph to the same pieces by Webern, each of our dances to be presented on the same program. Balanchine's, which he confidently hoped would be the stronger of the two, would follow my own. The dance begins at the instant before Mary, Queen of Scots, execution. But first, she must face the woman who assigned the decree for her execution. Gravely, Mary takes her place downstage opposite the imposing figure of the English Queen. Their decisive match, the outcome of which they already know, is about to begin. With macabre formality, the executioner placed in each opponent's hand a racket. Facing the audience, the sovereigns raise their rackets, but the imaginary ball never traversed the space. In mock earnestness, the game proceeds, with each strike of each racket hangs the fate of kingdoms. With a sting of venom behind each stroke, the volley continues until, outmaneuvered, the Scottish queen lets the unseen ball fly past her. The costume was designed by Korinska, the famous Russian couturier. Her reproduction of an elaborate 16th century court gown was authentic, but made one immobile, out of which Mary could step, divesting herself of her queenly outer garment. Mary as woman is revealed. A devout Catholic, whose belief in her God-anointed right to rule never wavered. Life after death, the only remaining hope of the Scottish Queen. Majestically, she mounted the steps of the scaffold in the garment she chose for the final event of her life. Mary Stuart, possessed by the white flame of her faith, in my end is my beginning, she said. Hers is, after all, the ultimate triumph, the triumph over the oblivion that is death. At the ballet's conclusion, the audience rose to its feet. No response from Balanchine. He never came backstage. He never said a word.
Richard will be bringing Martha Graham to life.